Hi, good morning. This is Dr. Bhuvaneshwari. I am going to say a few words about uh, laparoscopy. Uh, laparoscopy is nothing but endoscopy, which is passed through your abdominal cavity to see the reproductive organs, mainly gynec endoscopy. Uh, in that, what are the reasons? Uh, mainly to see whether your tubes are okay, your uterus is normal sized, and uh, your ovary is not having any cyst or anything endometriosis or any pelvic infection additions uh, these are the common findings we'll be seeing so we'll rule out all those things and also we inject a dye to see whether your tubes are patent or not this is the main uh, reason we go for the laparoscopy there is a repeated laparoscopies we have seen in uh, some patients for two reasons one is that fibroids repeatedly operated Second one is endometriosis, which is the commonest uh, surgery in the gynecology because endometriosis is a recurring disease. So it needs a, a laparoscopic correction. If they don't do it in the first sitting properly, they may develop recurrent within six months. Then they keep on going for the laparoscopy. Nowadays, because of the advancement of technology, uh, in GBR also we have a high-end HD and uh, uh, 3D cameras where we will be able to uh, see very easily and do it as a daycare and uh, you will not have any pain. So morning you can come without eating anything with our instructions and then get the surgery done. By evening uh, 5 to 6 o'clock you can get up and go home. So this is what we generally do. All these laparoscopic surgeries are very safe uh, with the experience. Uh, since we do regularly a uh, laparoscopy for infertility reasons, gynecological reasons, uterus removal and nowadays we are even getting trained for uh, robotic surgeries where any difficult cases also can be done as a daycare procedure. So post of complications for laparoscopy is very less and uh, most of the time very very minimal pain where we have a suture the skin. The, the, the skin insertion also is very small 5 to 6 millimeters only you won't even uh, know that there is a stitch inside and we'll be uh, putting stitches which can fall up by itself you don't need to remove or sometimes for the cosmetic purpose we can use clips also these are the main things and infection rates are very less again uh, along with the laparoscopy we may do la hysteroscopy to find out whether the cavity is all right or not and uh, whether your tubal opening is correct or not. So through hysteroscopy also we can do procedures like uh, tubal cannulation where we can remove the tubal block. The second one is polypectomy. Any fibrous which is pushing inside the cavity we can be able to remove that uh, through the hysteroscopically. Any septum congenital anomalies we have released so many cases and people have conceived with the pregnancy losses. People who have multiple abortions or pregnancy loss, uh, these procedures will help them in having a good healthy pregnancy and uh, term. Okay, so there are uh, so many good things about this hysteroscopy and laparoscopy. Uh, though it is a very simple procedure as a daycare, it can give you a lot of uh, relief and uh, symptoms free and also the outcome is very good. We have seen success rate is very good after our surgeries. It all needs a good team of doctors and experience and skill of the surgeon, so which we are experienced with. So I am sure if you have any of these issues, GBN can give you a complete solution and give you a safe procedure. Thank you.